Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the tart sandwich. To cream butter, we add horseradish, lemon juice, and chopped cress. Oh, and a little salt. We put that onto thin slices of bread. Okay, let's give this tart sandwich a go. A surprisingly small bite from the horseradish. Good pepperiness from the cress. Lemon juice is brightening things up a little bit. It's not bad. I think I do want to plus it up a little though. I'm going to add some shaved asparagus to give it a little bit of body. Probably saw this coming a mile away. Capers. Okay, let's give this tart sandwich plus up a little schmancy shaved asparagus and capers a go. It's not bad, but I think it's a lateral move. I don't think it really improved the sandwich, but I also think it didn't take away from the sandwich. Getting the bright pickly pop of the capers, helping him to make it an even more tart sandwich. And then the shaved asparagus is just providing a nice little foil against that. But, I don't know. All right, well, the original tart sandwich, shocking that a tablespoon of freshly grated horseradish didn't come through, but it didn't. Clearly, this is meant as a tea sandwich. It's not meant as a sandwich sandwich. So as a tea sandwich, I would say it was probably about a six and a half, um, plus up with the shaved asparagus and capers, six and a half. Like, you could easily have it without it, and it would be just fine. Um, I don't think it was really a plus up. I don't think it was a minus down. Oh, well. Definitely got to find something else to have for lunch because that ain't going to be enough. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>